must be somewhere in all these clouds. Help us look for him. When you see Stripes the tiger truck, say Stripes. Stripes! Whoa! I got you, Stripes! Oh, boy! Whoa! Officer Blaze! Whoa. That sounds like Watts! Hang on, Watts! We're coming! Help us look for Watts. She's the pink truck with electric tires. When you see Watts, say Watts! Now there's just one friend left to rescue. Zeg! Don't worry, Zeg. Our police helicopter is on the way. Help us look for Zeg, the dinosaur truck. When you see Zeg, say Zeg. Zeg! Not me! <laughs> and that's her! Helicopter Blaze to the rescue! Yay! Getting rescued! On. Zay! All right. Thanks for rescuing us, Blaze! To put out the fire, we need the most water we can get. Let's use my visor to see which tank is holding the most water. Switching to visor view. Visor, show us the volume of water in each tank. This tank has 50 megaliters of water inside. This tank has 100. And this tank has 70. Hmm, which number is the biggest? 50, 100, or 70? 100, yeah! That means this tank is holding the most water. It has the biggest volume. Quick, AJ, connect the hose to the water tank. You got it, Blaze. There, you've got water now. All right. Now, come on. Let's use this water to go put out that fire once and for all. Yeah. Oh! Oh Look, Chief, Blaze is back. That's right. And I've got enough water to put out the fire. Whoa, Whoa. wow. Stand back, everyone, and let Blaze do his thing. Come on, Blaze, you can do it. You ready, AJ? Ready. Then let's blast this fire. Go for it, Blaze. Do it. Raising the ladder. Turning on the hose. was some of the bravest firefighting I've ever seen. Thanks, Chief. You can always count on us. High tire. Yeah! Police officers, follow that chicken! On the spaghetti thief now. Ah! Oh, she's gone. We'll never find the spaghetti thief now. Sure we will. <laughs> <laughs>
because we're police officers, and police officers are experts at using observation. Observation? Yeah, observation is when you look and listen carefully to learn something. Oh, oh, I know. We can use observation to look for these chicken feathers. Great idea, Officer Pickle. That spaghetti thief leaves red feathers behind wherever she goes. Come on, she must have gone into this dark tunnel. <laughs> Activating police searchlight. When you see more of the chicken's red feathers, say red feathers. Red feathers! Yeah, you found some. That means the spaghetti thief must have gone this way. <gasps> there she is! <laughs> this way, police officers! Don't worry, Chief. I can stop the fire before it gets to those trees. I'll use blazing speed to get there super fast. Go for it, please! <laughs> to give me blazing speed, we need to say... Let's blaze! Say it with me. Let's blaze! Go blaze! Get ready, Blaze. The fire's just up ahead. Help me blast the fire with water to put it out. When you see fire, say fire! Fire! Nice shot! Now let's put out the rest of these fires. Whenever you see fire, say fire! Fire! Fire. Yay, Blaze! I knew you could do it! You're a hero! Oh, yeah! Way to go, Blaze! Hey, Blaze! Your firefighter badge! You're getting your last star! Wow! I did it! Congratulations, Blaze! You've proven you can handle any emergency! You're now an official firefighter! Whoa! My very own firefighter helmet. Thanks, Chief. Let's hear it for Blaze, Axel City's newest firefighter. Hooray <laughs> <laughs> <Ray, Ray> for <laughs> Blaze! <laughs> wow, being a police officer sounds pretty amazing. You know, you guys are good at helping people too. Maybe you should be police officers. Us? Become police officers? How do we do that? Well, for starters, you'll need to be a police car like me. I can handle that. Come on, help me transform into a police car. First, I need flashing lights and a siren so everyone knows a police car is coming through. To make the lights and siren, say, lights and siren. Lights and siren. Now let's make a searchlight to look for things that are lost and hard to find. To make the searchlight, say, searchlight. Searchlight! Great! All I need now is an official police badge. To make my police badge, say, police badge. Police badge! Oh, yeah! I'm a police car monster machine! Whoa! Looking good, Blaze. Now let's get out there and start helping people. Yeah, it's time to be police officers.
moving water from the ocean to the water cannon. Help us aim so we're spraying water right onto those flames. To hit the flames, should we aim to the left or the right? To the left, yeah! water on those flames over there. Activating fireboat pump. <laughs> to hit these flames, should we aim the water higher or lower? Lower, yeah! Just one more set of flames to go. Activating fireboat pump. To put out these last flames, should we aim higher or lower? Higher! is using the facts you know to get closer and closer to an answer. Here, let's try it. What do you know about where your grandma lives? Well, I know my grandma lives in a yellow building and it has a red door. Come on, let's look for it. She lives in a yellow building with a red door. Which building is yellow and has a red door? That one! That's the only building that's yellow and has a red door. Grandma! Oh, I'm so happy you're here. Thank you, officers. You're welcome. Can you use deduction to find my grandma, too? Sure. What do you know about where she lives? Um, I remember she's in a building that has purple flowers and two windows. All right, we've got the facts. Now let's look. Which of these buildings has purple flowers and two windows? That building, right. Here I am. Grandma. <laughs> Thanks, officers. You're welcome. Are you ready to find your grandma now? Uh-huh. I know my grandma lives somewhere with a green door, orange flowers, and one window. Whoa, good remembering. Come on, let's use those facts to find grandma's building. Which of these buildings has a green door, orange flowers, and one window? That one, right! <laughs> Oh, and you're just in time, too. I made fresh lemonade. Mmm, delicious. To fix the road, we need enough concrete to take up all the space inside the hole. Switching to visor view. The amount of space something takes up is called volume. Here's the volume of concrete we need to fill the hole. What number is this? Twelve. Yeah. That means we need 12 megaliters of concrete. All right, AJ, let's dump some concrete. Check it out. I poured in two megaliters of concrete. And AJ poured in one. How much concrete is in the hole? Three, yeah! There are three megaliters of concrete. But to fill the hole all the way, we need the volume of concrete to be 12. Hey, fellas, up here. You can use the concrete in this mixer. Going up. Pouring the concrete. Let's check the volume of concrete in the hole. It was three, and we're adding four more. How much concrete is in the hole now? Seven, right. 
there are seven megaliters of concrete in the hole. We just need a little more. Hey, you guys, more concrete up here. Great, let's dump it in. Look out below! The volume of concrete was seven, and we're adding five more. Now how much concrete is in the hole? Twelve, right! The hole is full. Woo we did it! And look, the concrete is hardening. Now we can drive over it. Woohoo! You fixed the boat! All right, please! Thanks, everyone. Now let's get moving. Yeah! We have a fire to put out. To give me and Officer Anna blazing speed, say, let's blaze! Let's blaze! Treats. Where'd they go? Oh no, no, no! <laughs> Sorry, treat thief, but your dessert stealing days are over. But without those sweets, what will I munch? All those treats were going to be my <laughs> lunch! <laughs> your lunch? But treat thief, you shouldn't eat treats for lunch. Yeah! You'll get a big tummy ache. But you'll feel good if you eat something healthy, like an apple. Mm -hmm. <gasps> it's true. You were right. And boy, was I wrong. Eating healthy feels great. I feel energized. And strong. Hooray. Good for you. That's the right way to eat. And from now on, I promise I won't take another treat. Now let's return what you've taken. Together, side by side. What do you say, Tree Thief? I say, police officers! Let's for the next volcano. When you see hot lava, say lava. Lava! Let's find that last erupting volcano. When you see lava, say lava. Lava! We cooled the hot lava and saved the jungle. And check out our firefighter alarm. We took care of all the emergencies. That's right. Wherever there's an emergency, you can always count on firefighters to save the day. Firefighters to, to the, the rescue! rescue!
spaghetti thief go? We'd better use observation to figure out where she went this time. Ooh, I can do it. Police searchlight? Ah! When you see some of her red feathers, say, red feathers. Chicken must be somewhere in this toy store. Then I'd better use observation to figure out where she's hiding. When you see red feathers, say red feathers. Red feathers! So that means the spaghetti thief must be hiding over there! Thief. Time to hand over that spaghetti. <laughs> so why'd you do it, little chicken? Why'd you take all that spaghetti? <laughs> oh, you only wanted spaghetti because you're hungry and you lost your picnic basket. Huh, that's weird, because I just found a picnic basket right here. <laughs> Now, come on, let's get this spaghetti back where it belongs. Let's use our pump to blast water all the way to that branch up there. To reach the branch, we need to pump out water with the force of five. Which button has the number five on it? The red button, right. Put out the fire on that first branch. Now let's blast the water even farther to that branch up there. To hit the next branch with water, we need to increase our pump's force to eight. Which button has the number eight on it? The yellow one. Yeah. <laughs> branch left. But it's up really high. So to put it out, we've got to blast water with the most force yet. Let's increase our pumping power to a force of 10. Which button has the number 10 on it? The purple one. Fire truck power! Aw, you're welcome, little birdies. Yeah, we're glad we could save your house. <laughs> now come on, Firefighter AJ. Let's get moving. Yeah, there's still more emergencies out there somewhere. Firefighters to the rescue! Aha! <laughs> A dog park! Pierre the puppy must be one of these dogs! But how are we going to figure out which dog is Pierre? I know. We'll use deduction. Remember, deduction is using facts to get closer and closer to an answer. Let's think. What facts do we know about Pierre? Here's a fact. We know Pierre went through a pile of leaves. So the dog we're looking for is going to have leaves on it. Good thinking, AJ. Let's count how many of these dogs have leaves on them. Okay, dogs, line up. Count the dogs that have leaves. One, two, 
three, four, five. Great! So Pierre must be one of these five dogs. What other facts do we know? Hmm. We know that after the leaves, Pierre went through a mud puddle. So the dog we're looking for is going to have muddy tires. Let's count how many of these dogs have muddy tires. Count the muddy dogs with me. One, two, three. That means Pierre must be one of these three dogs. I just wish we knew one more fact about Pierre. Wait, I remember something. His bark. Oh, yeah. We heard Pierre make a barking noise that sounded like this. Arf, arf, arf. Listen carefully to hear which dog has the same bark. Arf, arf. Arf, arf, arf. Which dog sounds like Pierre? That one, yeah! Arf, 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 arf. Hey there, little puppy. Are you Pierre? Arf, 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 arf. Oh, we sure are happy to see you, Pup. But not as happy as someone else we know. Oh, Pierre, I was so worried about you. Listen, those sound like sirens. And look, smoke. Come on, we better check it out. Lug nuts! It's a forest fire! Good thing the firefighters are here to put it out! All right, firefighters! Open the valves on your hoses! <laughs> Keep spraying! For an emergency this big, we need five fire engines working together! But, Chief, there are only four of us! We need one more fire engine! Wait! We gotta help him! And I know how! Let's turn me into a fire engine! First, we'll need to make a hose that can shoot out water. To make a hose, say, hose! Hose! All right, now we need a valve. When we open the valve, the water can go through the hose. To make a valve, say, valve! Valve! Great! Now we just need a telescoping ladder that can move the hose up and down. To make it, say, telescoping ladder. Telescoping ladder! Yeah! I'm a fire engine monster machine! Awesome! Now let's go help those firefighters! Engine Blaze, reporting for duty, Chief. I'm ready to help put out that fire. Well, all right. Let's see what you've got. Quick, help me open the valve so water can shoot out of the hose. Say, open the valve. Open the valve. It's working. We're putting out the fire. All right! You can ask your parents to subscribe to Nick Jr.'s Blaze and the Monster Machines YouTube channel for new videos every week.